What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I, it's pretty much the end of the vlog. It's the end of the month tour and uh, I usually like to do these tour videos when I completely change the entire room or do some shelves but today we've changed a lot. We've changed the entire setup around and uh, hopefully the, um, you know, the reviews look a little bit better. And I'm very excited to show you guys this. There's a lot of different things that we've done so far. And I'm very excited to show you guys them. And um, there's just a lot of just different ideas that I have for October. And I thought it would be really cool to kind of show with, uh, show you them now. And, um, you know, for this next Monday video, it will be kind of an experiment to, just, uh, show off the, uh, kind of show or figure out mainly how I'm going to do videos from now on in this new setup and uh, also getting some through some of like the, the challenges that I have with this new setup which uh, we'll get into in a little bit but uh, definitely I'm very excited to kind of show you guys this you can already see there's just been some pretty big changes because what you're looking at used to be the little corner that I used to do reviews at but now I do them in a completely other spot in the room and uh, also probably added a new section for a review so that's going to be really, really cool. Um, if you guys really do like kind of doing these, like, you know, seeing these like room tours, I always like when people did room tours, um, especially when they changed it up a bit. Uh, just kind of always thought it was really cool and, uh, you know, always got you inspired to do something. And I'm very limited in my resources and, you know, money so and space as well. So you know, I, I'm not like completely, it's not going to be like, oh, wow, that kind of thing. But I think it'd be kind of cool to show some stuff off. Maybe somebody would be like, ooh, I might do that with my room and stuff. I don't know. But uh, if you do like this video, um, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You really don't have to. But if you do, that'd be kind of cool. We're almost at 500 subscribers. And uh, yeah, that's going to be sick. We got like, I don't know, 10 more. 10, and probably not 10. We probably got a little bit more than 10. But you were getting there. But Enough rambling aside, let's take a look at where the new desk is. The old setup was in this corner right here. I had my entire desk here plus my chair, and it was a very nice spot. It was kind of crammed because of the wall right here, but I loved this. I really did like this spot because of the outlet. The outlet was the coolest thing because that is the only outlet that I have in this room, and I think I've mentioned that many, many times, but that is the only outlet that I have. But moving the desk all the way over here, I think looks pretty nice. I really do like the kind of gray wall. I, I don't know, there's just something about it that I do like. I like how the shelves are higher and I definitely really do, I like the spot, you know? It is kind of annoying because I mean, I'm sure it would get annoying with the door right here, but honestly, it really doesn't bother me. I'm kind of glad that I have more arm space and stuff and um, yeah it, it's gonna be really cool but uh, you can see the chair has not changed it's basically just the same chair that I got um, you know basic stuff right here but we do have four new um, display shelves right up here which all look really really cool um, very basic I might change them out a little bit but um, you can see the very top one has the Marauder, also has the Mini Marauder that I was my first ever purchase that I bought with my own money. I also have a prototype Boba Fett that my brother got me and the Slave One ship from um, Book of Boba Fett in Lego form. I also have the one that's at the kind of shortest one, not really the shortest one, but the one that's just right up here, which has a Shore Trooper, which is another figure that my brother got me. I have a Creature from the Black Lagoon up there. I also have Starlight, which I have Starlight up there because I'm debating on what to do with her. And I think I've decided, I think I'm going to get rid of her because if I want to continue com like, you know, uh, collecting these Mayfex figures, Starlight's gonna go. Starlight's gonna have to go because I think the boys collection needs to be just the same and um, So far the NECA one is cool, but I don't think I need it I might do a review on her and uh, that would probably be it I probably won't do anything else with her and uh, I definitely wouldn't know where to put her so Yeah, I think she's gonna have to go. I'll probably sell her for 20 bucks. I got her for like 15 so make a little prop profit out of that I also have one of the Paracas from the Bionicle game up there 
which uh, would be really cool to get the other ones too, but uh, that will be a project for another day. Moving this little creaky thing down a bit, we also have some more figures. So we have my high-end figures here, which is basically all of the figures that I found the most they're most posable and kind of the most expensive too, in a way, uh, but they all look really cool. I have the T-800 up there, I have Homelander, I have Billy Butcher, and I have the Reaper, which all of them, very nice figures, very nice to pose around, and uh, yeah, that's why I kind of put them up there. And of course, I couldn't uh, neglect the Doom Slayer, which I have right above me, next to a figure, which might be Monday's Review. Uh, which is going to be really cool. I have the entire, I guess you can call it a script for him, and uh, I, I'm very excited. I also started replaying the first game, uh, kind of the remastered first game a bit, and I'm having a blast with it, and uh, yeah, I just thought it would be a fun time to, uh, you know, play the game, so I think that's really, really cool. So the desk itself is also very nice. Um, yeah, it's the same desk that I've had before, nothing crazy. At the bottom, I just have a little trash can with a couple paints, a little toolbox there, and a lamp. Um, my guitar is kind of right next to it, too. And I'm sorry if this thing is, like, creaking way too much, but yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. But it's my little setup that I have right here. Nothing crazy. Got the Icon of Sin on the side. I have a little Wolfman figure there, plus a little Funko Pop of uh, Freddy Krueger and the Heart of an Artist album by DA Games. And, um, yeah, just a bunch of random stuff there. Um, the thing that I'm very most excited about is right next to our display. So this very crudely put up thing is going to be a new spot for the review. So I'll show a little bit of a closer look up at it. But this is where I'm actually going to be looking at the, the, the figures more in depth. So I might do the, the, the unboxing at the regular desk. But when I actually look at the figure, I want it to be here. Because I really do like the idea of just having a background that's like white or black. And I chose white because white makes the figure pop a little bit more. So I really do like that. Um, and I just, I don't know. I just overall really like the people, you know, when I watch reviews, I always like that. You know, just kind of having the white background and your focus is just on the figure. So I've always thought that was really cool. So that's going to be really cool. Um, I have the Godzilla and Kong up there with the little cup from Godzilla x Kong and those can easily just be removed. I wanted something that was kind of bulky that can just easily be put down and easily be put back up instead of just a bunch of tiny little things. So yeah, that's definitely that. On the bottom shelf here, just a bunch of random stuff. I have a little Batman movie shelf here, two Indiana Jones Legos plus Indiana Jones figures and my um, nice little boxes that I have, which I might actually take a look at those uh, in another video, because that is a newer kind of box that I decided to put figures in, or figures accessories in, so I think that's pretty cool. Next, I have this little thing, which is the little thing that has Boba Fett's helmet on there, which looks really cool. I really do like the way that looks, and it just looks overall really neat, and um, yeah, I think that's really neat. Uh, we have R2-D2 there as well, and our autographed picture of Bo-Katan and Cara Dune are also there, plus the little Lego bins down there as well. Over here is probably the weirdest part of the entire room, is this whole little table right here. Uh, we did get a new coffee table, which uh, this used to be it right here. Um, so we got a new one, and I just kind of put it in here. Uh, but it's decent. I really do, you know, it has a purpose. And on this table has just a bunch of Lego sets and Milmere as well. Um, I have this entire thing right here, but I'll take a look at that like probably in another video, probably away from October. And um, it's basically just a giant like scene that I built with a bunch of Marvel Legos because I, I, I like this building, uh, this Sanctum Sanctorum from like the Infinity War wave. Um, and I really didn't want to go like give it to waste. So I wanted to do something with it So this is what I did with it and I don't want to take it apart and I but I don't have anywhere to put it um, so that's the sucky part about it and then I have a bunch of overwatch sets because I Don't play overwatch. I don't play overwatch at all. I play it like a, I played it a couple times recently And it wasn't even recently. It was like almost the beginning of the year 
just to see if I liked it again because I I did play it before, but I I don't really care for it. I don't care for it at all. It's okay. It's not bad, but I just I can't get into it as much. And um, I the only thing that I really like about it is the characters. Uh, my three favorite characters are Reinhard, uh, uh, the Reaper, and Soldier Seventy Six. So I'd love to just have action figures of those. But getting the Lego sets, I I don't think so. And um, yeah, I I feel like they could be in a better home. I really do love that Junk Town, um, the the junkyard set. It's really cool, and I really do like it as a display piece. But at the same time, it's like I have nowhere to put it. I have nowhere to put it at all. And uh, yeah, it, it would just sit there, a, a product that I really don't care about. I'd rather get the action figures because the Reaper action figure is really cool. And I'd love to have this uh, soldier with him as well as, as like the Reinhardt. I think that would just be really cool. But yeah, that's basically what I'm probably going to do with these Legos of Overwatch. Just sell them get some money from them and get something that I actually really do like and really am passionate about collecting. And I also have the Ninjago Dragon down here because I don't know where to put him either, but I'm not selling that one. Now up here was above where my uh, desk used to be, but it's now where kind of a little uh, display stand plus the drawers are. Um, nothing really crazy going on up here. I have a lot of Doom figures as well that are just kind of scattered around, uh, cause of course, cause Doom is awesome and I oh, will always love Doom. I also definitely, as you can see, have the Michael Myers mask and, um, I definitely need a display for the Leatherface mask. So probably when I go out, I'll probably be out in a couple days up in, um, you know, getting some more stuff for the Michael Myers costume. And I might actually get a second, like, head bust so I can actually display the Leatherface head and the Michael Myers head properly. So, yeah, that's going to be really cool. Um, there is some new stuff up here as well. Um, up on this side is what I call my gaming shelf. So I have Kratos, uh, Master Chief, the Doomslayer, Scorpion, and Batman up there, and uh, soon to be... Marcus Phoenix, which he's also going to go up there, and that's basically just my gaming shelf, my iconic character gaming shelf. That's basically what that is. Then up here, I have my big chap uh, from the first Alien movie and uh, the feral predator from Prey, and uh, they both look really cool up there. I would love to add the Romulus alien, so I might add the original predator plus feral predator plus the big chap alien and the Romulus alien and kind of have like a new and old kind of together on the same shelf. I think that'd be kind of neat. And this little display I'm probably the most proud of because it just looks the coolest. And uh, I really do like how everything came out. Um, it looks cool. There's like four products on this, uh, this, uh, this table, which I really, really do like. You have the... Uh, the Doom Eternal picture here. We have the Dark Lord statue there. We have the Doom Eternal Slayer helmet there. We have my only one six scale Art the Clown figure there. And the Lego Quinjet from the first Avengers movie, which I think all of these look so cool. And I've always wanted a display where it's just like a couple things just placed there because that just looks so cool. And these were my kind of favorite products that looked good on a shelf and I also really loved. So those are there, and I just think that just looks awesome. And of course, I added Kane Cad Bane back, so now he'll be in the back of the videos from now on. And uh, yeah, it's gonna it's nice to have Cad Bane back. It's gonna be really cool. Now on the very top shelf, I have four shelves right here, uh, which all on the very top have a bunch of kaiju kind of slash Godzilla stuff, and we have a bunch of King Kongs there. You could you could you could see all the figures that I have up there. Plus one that I have been looking forward to forever. And if you can see him, you definitely can see him up there. But this little dude was supposed to come out in February and he finally came in. You probably cannot see him at all because of the quality of the video. But there he is. And you'll definitely get a better glimpse at him when I actually review this figure. Um, but yeah, it's the Mutos. I'm so happy they actually came in. Now showing off the entire figure collection. 
There's a bunch of stuff that I have displayed as well. Um, of course, there's Tommy Lee Jones Two-Face right there, because of course there is. But you can see that I have two different horror shelves right there. We're not going to go into depth with them uh, like we usually do, but um, I kind of wanted to just make this a really quick video just to kind of show you guys where everything's at. And, um, you know, when I do get to around to, you know, actually showing the shelves, I'll, uh, yeah, it's going to be really cool. But I kind of want to just show you guys the main layout of the room. That's why I'm not going closer up at these uh, displays. But we have the... Uh, three. This is basically my horror row right here. So I have uh, the Universal Monsters here. I have just a bunch of random monsters from stuff like Puppet Master. I have a Silent Hill figure. I have uh, custom Jeepers Creepers, which is going to be really cool to review in October. And then I have my Five Nights at Freddy's shelf down there. On this shelf, very interesting shelf because I have my uh, Marvel Legends shelves here, and then I just have a bunch of random figures at the very bottom one, but at the very top one I have my heroes. These are all my Marvel Legends heroes, um, plus Venom and Scarlet Witch. I didn't really, I don't know, I don't really count them as villains, uh, even though she, this design that I have for her, which you saw on the channel, um, uh, the Scarlet Witch from Multiverse of Madness, uh, that basically counts as, you know, evil Scarlet Witch, so she should be in the villain roster, but I don't know, I just kind of left her up there. But we have just all of our heroes and stuff at this very top shelf. Then at the very bottom, we have uh, our villains all right here. So all of our villains and all of our heroes are nicely separated. And yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I can't, I don't know if I can fit any more villains, but I can definitely fit some more heroes and uh, the Deadpool and Wolverine figure that are coming out. And they said they're coming out in October, that's going to be so cool. So I cannot wait. And I already have a spot for both of those. And then down here just has a bunch of just random uh, figures. Just all figures that I really didn't know what to do with. And I could have put Starlight up there. But I, I, there's no point. There's no point at all. And I really do like those figures. But I just didn't know what to do with them. And uh, moving over on this side. We have all of our Arkham Batman figures. Still holding out for when they actually do make more. Uh, I just want them to make a Two-Face and a Mr. Freeze. Those are the only two that I really want. A Zazz would be cool too, but if I had to pick Two-Face and Mr. Freeze are the two that I want the most, and I hope they actually make them someday. So get on it, McFarlane, please. I will stop complaining. Um, but then we have our McFarlane shelf, which is um, down below from it. And this just houses every single McFarlane figure that I have. And um, yeah, it's really cool. Really do like the way it looks. Very crowded, but uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like I might be getting any McFarlane figures anytime soon. And uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of sad, but I've just kind of grown out of McFarlane a little bit. You know, he's kind of, uh, fa he faded down pretty quickly, um, you know, after there wasn't any more Justice League figures and, you know, DC took a bit of a tumble and you know, there was no passion for DC anymore. Same with Marvel. Marvel's actually kind of growing a little bit more. Uh, the Deadpool and Wolverine were like, you know, a really big part of, uh, you know, purchases that made me buy the, all the Avengers and the Doctor Doom figure. So, and the Carnage figure too. So, Marvel Legends is getting back up there. But uh, McFarlane and the Black Series figures are kind of still down below in the dumps a little bit that I just don't really, I don't feel passionate for these uh, things anymore. Also, happy 15th anniversary to the Arkham series. Like, that's nuts to think about. Um, over down below, we have a bunch of Transformers figures here and a bunch of Transformers figures here. Then we have my two Star Wars shelves as well, which basically houses my uh, bigger scale figures, you know, the normal scale uh, Black Series figures, and then just a bunch of just random Star Wars things that I have down there that... Uh, just are kind of crammed in there and it looks a little messy, but it's kind of an organized messy in a way and Then down below we have a pretty cool display um, Which is something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I never really could uh, Because I never knew where to put these ships, but 
I have four different ships right here and all of them are very nicely displayed facing um, the left side and they look really cool. So I have the USS Enterprise right there. I have the Klingon Bird of Prey right there. I have the um, Guardians of the Galaxy ship there, the Milano or whatever it is. Um, I need to add the figures because I have the figures kind of just lined up here. So I need to add the figures for that set. And then I have Cad Bane's Justifier down there. And it looks so cool. And it really does space out, you know, the mess that we have up here. And it just tones it down a bit down here. And also down here as well. So down here we have just kind of random stuff. We have two masks there plus the um, Hall of Fame armor. Um, plus, like, I think a dinosaur and um, a bunch of comics as well. Then we have... Two shelves are just like, you know, packed with my sideshow figures, my horror sideshow figures, which is really cool. And uh, definitely need to get on to reviewing those. Then we have just a bunch of stuff down here, which I call kind of my nostalgic shelf because I have a bunch of little nostalgic figures, especially those little Clone Wars bobbleheads. Big nostalgic stuff there. But yeah, that is basically the entire room. There's nothing else I can think of that I need to talk about. I have looked at everything that I have here. I've looked at the desk. I've looked at my new setups and, you know, kind of a, you know, uh, I guess kind of um, preview to what we're going to be doing on this side. And I have this wall right here, which I didn't know what to do with, but it works as a echoing uh, diffuser, you know what I mean? Uh, it makes it to where, you know, it's my voice is not bouncing off the walls and e echoing in that closet. And the closet's pretty much been the same. There's just a bunch of boxes and junk in there. It's not like hoarder ish. Um, it's very organized as well, um, in a way. But yeah, I, it's nice to kind of have it blocked off too. So you can, it kind of looks nice in here. So this is the entire display. And uh, I cannot wait to show you guys uh, it in action on Monday. So yeah, I'm going to get this video out as soon as possible. I really hope you enjoy just kind of looking around at the room just a little bit. Uh, I know I didn't go into depth with anything or show you guys any new figures that I have, but uh, rest assured that I have a bunch of new figures and most of them are for October. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for some videos coming in especially in october october is going to be very busy for me because i'm going to be pumping out as much content as i can for october because halloween's one of my favorite holidays and i cannot wait for uh for for halloween so it's gonna be really cool other than that thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next review for monday and i'll see you guys for the spooky season i'll see you guys in the next one